As always, welcome back to another tech tip. In today's video, we're going to talk about all the different types of USB cords there are out there. Let's take a look. We're going to look at different cables today. All the ones that I have here, we're going to go over. And then we're also going to look at the different colors of an actual USB port, go over their speeds. That way you guys kind of have an understanding of how it all works together. Um, so as you can see right now, I've got the rear end of a computer. You can see different ports back here. And you'll notice you're gonna see a couple different ones here. So you're gonna see some black ones. These are what your, your standard USB ports look like. They're just a, a rectangle uh, type port. Uh, and when they're black, that usually means they're USB 2.0, which is about 480 megabits per second. So that's usually your standard USB. Uh, and if you look right below that, you'll see some blue ones. That's USB 3.0 or also USB SS, stands for super speed. Those are the next gen. Actually, the next gen is 3.1. We'll go over that in just a, uh, just a second here. But USB 3.0 is typically colored blue and also does a transfer rate of 5 gigabits per second. So you can see a significant jump from the 2.0 versus the 3.0. Most computers will actually have uh, different types of USB ports on the back of them. And what the USB stands for is universal serial bus. And this is what you'll printer, your printer will plug into, your phone will plug into, your tablet. Any type of universal type of hardware will usually use some type of USB cable. Um, now, again, they did just come out with another one. It's USB 3.1. It's a slightly, actually, it's double the speed of USB 3.0. It's actually 10 gigabits per second. So you can kind of see the, the steps or the scale of, of the USB 2.0 to 3 and then 3.0, which is, or 3.1, which is not on this board. So, uh, that's so, so that's what the back of the computer looks like. We'll go ahead and set that aside. We'll take a look at the different types of cables. Uh, the ones that I don't have is a USB-C, which is the one of the newest uh, types of connections. And like I said, I don't have that one. And then I also don't have a USB 3.0B connector um, to show you, but I do have some of the other ones. Uh, so some of the older ones, we'll, we'll, let's take a look at what your printer would usually use, which is a USB 2.0 uh, A and uh, B end. And what I mean by that is this is what they call USB. This is USB 2.0 A. You can see that it's a rectangular. It's pretty standard. And then on the other, other end of that, that would plug into typically your printer is what they call the USB, uh, USB B. And you can see that it's almost got a square like look to it, but it does have slight angles at the top top left and top right. So that's what you'd find in like a printer. Uh, moving forward here, we do have, again, it's USB. Uh, this is a USB 2.0 cord because it's usually not, it's not blue. Blue is what stands for USB 3.0, but uh, USB A and then USB B. This one's a mini. As you can see, it's slightly smaller. And uh, this is what you'd use. This is what I use for uh, typically a GoPro or some, some older but newer devices will use this. And then coming into one of the more mainstream is, again, you've got your USB-A on one side, and then this one is USB-B micro. This is what you typically find on like a tablet, like an Android tablet or an Android phone. Of course, uh, iPhones have their own like pr proprietary like Thunderbolt uh, connections like that. Um, and then I'm gonna go, go ahead and also post some pictures up here in the top right corner of what a USB 3.0B looks like, and then also what a USB-C looks like as well. Thanks for watching that video, everyone. If you know somebody that could use this information, give it a like and share this video to them. We do new videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays. Also, if you haven't looked already, go ahead and check out some of our other videos over there on the left-hand side. And then also hit the subscribe button right below me here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.